Once upon a time, there was Jane. Jane was typical. She hated mornings. She liked flannel PJs and green tea with honey. More than anything, Jane loved black. She lined her eyes with it generously each morning and wore it head to toe, almost religiously. She never worried about coordinating her outfits. Black worked well with anything. It was strong, steady, consistent. In a complicated world, composed almost entirely of varying shades of gray, black was a rock. This much, Jane knew for certain. Every once in a while, though, she caught herself lying awake in the dark, craving light. Unlike your archetypal ball gown clad damsel, Jane wasn't locked away in some far off ivory tower. Instead, she had HL English class, next to a moron. It's the way I look, isn't it? Just because I don't look like every other girl in this school doesn't mean I'm not okay. Sorry. No. I get it. Didn't mean to pry. When Jane arrived home after school, she went about her routines as usual, but she felt a nagging sense of guilt and started to wonder if maybe she had been unfair. After all, he hadn't meant to offend her, he was just some dumb boy. Besides, for a moment, she had seen genuine concern in his eyes. Maybe he wasn't a moron. He was clueless, absolutely, but he was nice. Maybe even kind of cute. For the first time, it occurred to Jane that she might, on occasion, frighten people away. Maybe if she looked a little softer, a little happier, he would talk to her without acting so concerned. And so, it was decided. Jane was going to be a real princess. No dark eyes, no dark clothing. She might even run a brush through her hair. She awoke with a newfound sense of determination. This was her path to happiness. I guess we both tried a new look today. Yep. How's it working out for you? Not well. Don't you get overheated in all this black? You get used to it. How about you? How's the preppy look treating you? I feel like a cupcake. It's revolting. <laughs> if you laugh, I swear to God. I hear you get used to it. Once upon a time, there was Jane. Jane was typical. She hated mornings, she liked black, and she liked laughing.
More than anything, Jane loved her friends. These were the people who loved her in dark colors and loved her in pink. Jane had learned a lot of things in her high school English classes. She learned Romeo and Juliet was a tragedy, not a romance, and that George Orwell wasn't the most cheerful man in town. Most importantly, she realized that you don't need to wear a pretty dress to be the heroine. Jane wasn't a princess singing to bluebirds through rolling hills, and that was okay. She had found her happy ending without that, and she wouldn't have had it any other way.